Hello and welcome to the design video for Brick Tip 46. So I wanted to create this floor and it took me quite a while puzzling it out to come up with something that actually worked. And the initial idea, I will pull this off, the initial idea was to have the floor just floating above the support underneath here. And that is what I went with and that is what worked, but in a different way than I initially thought. I thought about having the studs pointing out and then when you lock in the, plat the plates on the side, you'll also lock in the floor. But that did not work out. It was still leaving some gaps in the middle here. And I tried also making floor joists to go across so you could set the floor in. That's did work, but I found it was really ugly and rather bulky, so I scrapped that. And then I finally settled on this design, which was a floating floor. So I'll show you, as I did in the brick tip video, that that floor is not connected, it's just pressure fitted, and you can see that it is not at all really stressed. There's a lot of movement there so it's just fit in snugly it's it's really not at all you can see the corners here they're not at all stressed the corners are all fine so everything has worked out really well with this floor you can see around the outside I put a border in with one by bricks and that is giving the floor something more to set on. So that floor, if you push it down, there's a little bit of movement, but I'm pushing right in the middle there and there is not a lot of movement at all, as you can tell, so it's really well supported. I'm gonna take this floor out and show you how I built it, but first, before I do that, I wanna show you how tight everything is. So you can see that there is not a lot of gaps there at all. There's a very tiny one behind that post. There's a little one behind that post. And of course where those studs are, they pressure fit into the sides of these posts. But as I mentioned that in the video, if you cover those up with decorative details, they'll just disappear. Uh, another thing I mentioned was that I really wanted to make sure this was too wide so that I could play back here and make all sorts of decorative elements on the top. So I'm glad that that worked out. Now, I will break this down. So I wanted to show you here when taking it apart, it's not too difficult. You have to pop up the roof a little bit so you can loosen these hinges. And then you just open up the door, give it a bit of a twist and they pop right out. So there's no need to tear it apart like I did with the other floor when it was really hard to get that floor out. So if you are doing some interesting designs or you just want to remove the floor, it's as simple as that. So the trick to this floor was the fact that when I measured it, I believe it was exactly 20 studs wide from the outside of the frame to the other side and it was 28 studs long from the outside of the frame to the outside. So I had a few options to try. I initially went with studs out as I mentioned and there was a gap of about that much when I did that so I didn't like that at all. So I started playing with the idea of having the plates coming together. I have done this before when I made the intersection a while back and I was surprised to find that it worked exceptionally well here. I, this was more of an experimentation than it was actual mathematics. I didn't really figure that this would work to be honest and I was surprised that it d did work so well. We have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brick widths here. And then I used just a plate for spacing. 
And that lines up perfectly with the outside plates for that support. Same with over here. I went with those bricks up to just the very end where I put in a couple of plates and they fit snugly up against the side supports. Now in the middle, on the narrow end, there wasn't a way that I could figure out how to line those up without just having the studs. So I did play with that. That's the one little design flaw I think. If I could change anything, it would be there. So let's put it back in. I want to show you how easily it fits and how well it fits. So we'll open up our door again. We're just going to slide it here. This is a bit tricky to do in front of the camera. But I went seven wide here because that was the spacing and then six wide and seven wide. And you'll see it just slips right down. And the other side, we'll do the same thing. You just push it through the slots ever so gently and then we can close the side up and this is the part that's a little bit tricky because it is such a tight fit it's a little bit of work to get it in there but once it's in there it doesn't budge okay so we got it all trapped in the nice thing about this design is it's completely flush with the plates when you go two by plates and also on this side perfectly flush so I was really pleased with how that turned out now we're going to give it a stress test and see how that goes so this isn't as strong as the other one you can see it's starting to lift so I'm giving it a push and it's starting to push apart a bit and the sides let's lock those back in it's mostly the top that's giving the sides are doing fine obviously because they've got something in between there to hold them and the same on the other side that does really well the top is in the same condition where it's still a little bit springy, but I, we have a big gaping hole. I would expect it to be a little bit springy. And the bottom, you can give that a shove and that doesn't move. Of course, it's going to move up if we push it up. <laughs> so there we go. There's our design for our floor. I'm really excited on this and see what I can do with the bottom here. And the nice thing, as I mentioned in that video, was that if you go 4x for your plates when you're uh, locking your floors together, you can put one on top of another, on top of another, and it's going to be st stronger and stronger as you keep going. Hopefully you found this useful and inspirational. If you did, please click the like and subscribe buttons and share it around so that others can learn from it. We have a Patreon account if you wish to support us that way. Or you can join in the conversation on Facebook and our other social feeds. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming of bricks. Bye-bye.